This episode of D News was proudly made possible by the all new 2015 Subaru Legacy. It's not just a sedan, it's a Subaru. Sharks are gonna starve to death, and it's all our fault! Sorry, pal. <laughs>everyone, I'm Chastity, the associate producer for D News. Say what you want about climate change, but the fact still remains that levels of carbon dioxide are rising fast in our atmosphere, and it's causing major concerns for marine life. As the oceans absorb more CO2 from the air, the waters become more acidic. The latest report on greenhouse gases from the World Meteorological Organization shows carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere rose at an alarming rate last year, shattering previous records. And for the first time, the annual report on greenhouse gases included figures on ocean acidification. The WMO says the rate of acidification is now unprecedented, at least over the past 300,000 years. If ocean acidification continues at its current pace, a new study published in Global Change Biology says that sharks could lose their ability to sense the smell of food. For the study, researchers from Georgia Tech tested the odor tracking behaviors of smooth dogfish, a shark native to the Atlantic Ocean off the eastern United States. They placed the dogfish in swimming pools treated with carbon dioxide. The CO2 concentrations tested matched the projected climate forecast for mid-century and the year 2100. Researchers found that the adult sharks significantly avoided squid odor after swimming in CO2 treated pools. The sharks tracking and attacking behavior were significantly reduced also. Sharks use other senses like hearing to track prey, but none is more important than chemical sensing. Lead author of the study, Danielle Dixon, says sharks are like swimming noses, so chemical cues are really important for them in terms of finding food. In the past, sharks have adapted to ocean acidification conditions projected for later time periods, but they've never had to adapt as quickly as they do today. Dixon says it's the rate of change that's happening that's concerning. Sharks have never had to deal with it this fast. Previous research by Dixon and her team has shown that fish's sensory systems are also seriously affected by future sea to concentrations in the ocean. Reef fish were less able to sense predator odor when tested in water treated with the projected future CO2 concentrations. The only problem with the research is that it's all laboratory based so it doesn't fully represent the potential effects of future ocean acidification. Regardless, rising CO2 concentrations in our oceans is still a major problem for future marine life. If you want to know more about climate change realities and solutions, we're going to be tackling those topics with Upworthy and other special guests and you get to be part of the conversation. So join us for our first Twitter up chat this Monday, September 15th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time using the hashtag UpChat. And follow D News and Upworthy for more climate change related content. Thanks for watching.